फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट सर बिफोर आई कम टू द मेन प्रोविजन ऑफ द बिल आई वुड लाइक टू एक्सप्लेन ब्रीफली द नीड फॉर ब्रिंगिंग इन दिस मेजर एज इट इज नोन द स्टेट फाइनेंशियल कॉरपोरेशन एक्ट वॉज पास इन नाइनटीन फिफ्टी इन ऑर्डर टू इनेबल द स्टेट्स टू एस्टाब्लिश स्टेट फाइनेंशियल कॉरपोरेशन विद द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ प्रोवाइडिंग लॉन्ग टर्म क्रेडिट टू स्मॉल एंड मीडियम स्केल इंडस्ट्रीज थ्री ईयर्स बिफोर दैट एक्ट वॉज पास द इंडस्ट्रियल फाइनेंस कॉरपोरेशन एक्ट वॉज पास इन नाइनटीन फोर्टी इन ऑर्डर टू मेक मीडियम एंड लॉन्ग टर्म क्रेडिट मोर रेडिली अवेलेबल टू इंडस्ट्रियल कंसर्नस पर्टिकुलरली इन सरकमस्टांसिस वेयर द नॉर्मल बैंकिंग फैसिलिटीज वर नॉट अवेलेबल टू दैम The Industrial Finance Corporation during the first थ्री years of its life had made some progress in achieving these objectives and had acquired a certain amount of experience. Full use of the experience acquired by the Industrial Finance Corporation during the थ्री years of its life was made in drafting the State Financial Corporations Act. 1950 the jurisdictions of these two corporations were not overlapping because the industrial finance corporation afforded the necessary credit facilities to industrial concerns of a comparatively large size it could not possibly provide the same facilities to smaller concerns located throughout india to meet the regional demands and therefore there was a demand for various states for the establishment of such institutions which may cater to the needs of the various states so under section 26 of the state financial corporations act such corporations cannot grant accommodation to a single industrial concern for an amount exceeding 10% of the paid up capital which may not exceed a maximum limit of rupees 10 lakhs whereas the industrial finance corporation does not deal with applications for loans less than rupees 10 lakhs unless the loan application is from a state where the state financial corporation does not exist so the house will appreciate that the state finance corporations have a very important role to play in the growth of small and medium scale industries the second five year plan lays considerable emphasis on basic and heavy industries both the growth of small and medium scale industries also finds an important place in the plan and in the country's economy it is therefore necessary that the state financial corporations should be able to meet the requirements of the small scale industries with this view last year the house will remember the state financial corporations act 1950 was amended in order to make newly formed industrial concerns eligible for loans from the state financial corporations before the amendment was passed the state financial corporation could only make loans to existing concerns and the industrial concerns which were so to say in the offing could get no financial help from the state financial corporation it was thought in view of the impact of industrialization and greater emphasis laid on the development of small and medium scale industries that the whole working of the state financial corporations which were important corporate institutions catering to the needs of such industries should be reviewed it was felt that the activities of these corporations were not expanding or were not adequately meeting the requirements of the small and medium scale industries due to certain structural defects or due to certain anomalies that were creeping in therefore the reserve bank took the initiative of 
calling a conference of the representatives of the state financial corporations and two such conferences were held in august 1950 and november 1960 these conferences recommended certain amendments to the act these were very carefully considered and a draft bill was circulated to the various states a number of states took very keen interest in the working of these corporations and made very useful suggestions and the present bill incorporates some of the important recommendations of those conferences as well as the useful recommendations made by the various states with this background i would like to take the house to the important provisions of the bill and i would briefly explain them clause 2 of the bill defines the industrial concern as given in the principal act the principal act limits the scope of the activities of the corporation to only such concerns as are engaged or are to be engaged in the manufacture preservation or processing of goods or in mining or in the generation of distribution of electricity or any other form of power in the absence of any clear definition of the phrase processing of goods the corporations were finding it somewhat difficult to decide whether a particular concern fulfilled the necessary conditions to make them eligible for assistance by the corporation an explanation under clause 2 sub clause 2 is now being added defining the expression processing of goods this explanation will remove the difficulties of the state financial corporations then clause 24 of the bill enables certain states to get the benefits of such corporations stop